everyone and welcome to the Rose Tarot Girls. My name is Rose and today we'll be doing a reading for the zodiac sign of Capricorn for the month of June 2020. During this reading please take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Since this is a general reading it may not resonate with you 100% okay. Now if this is the case please do not hesitate to watch the videos for your moon rising and Venus signs to get a better picture of the message Spirit is guiding you towards. If you wish to contact me, all my details will be in the description box below. Finally, I thank God, Source, the Universe, all the Archangels and Angels of Love and Light, all the Spirits and Spirit Guides of Love and Light for guiding me to share my gifts with you all. If you like your readings, please do not hesitate to like, share and subscribe to this channel. So Capricorns, let's get started. I'm really sorry for the delay in your readings. But finally I've made it. And let's see what's going on with your lives at this given point in time. Right. The cards have been shuffled, meditated over and prayed over. They are now ready for a good read. I feel like giving the rose oracle cards another last shuffle. Now let's take a look at your reading, my darlings. I hope you're able to see your cards clearly. Right. Give me a moment. Wanna mm. take a look. Mm -hmm. 
absolutely amazing. So let's see what is going to be revealed in your reading today. <laughs> My darling Capricorns coming into the reading. I can see over here there is a person around you who is very much in love with you. Yeah. They've been communicating this to you for quite a while. Yeah. This person makes you really happy, yes. But for some reason, you need to look within and you need to center yourself. Mm. You are quite passionate about this person as well. It's like as though you feel as though you have brand new feelings for this person. Your passions are growing. This is someone you may have known before. So, this is someone you're probably in a relationship with, yes? So, any betrayals of the past, um, yes, that will happen in your life, yeah? In your previous relationships or some without a line in the past, yes? You may have had a lot of betrayals that may have happened to you. You are now leaving it all behind. As for your person, they are showing a lot of courage and perseverance in order to pursue you, yeah? Because perhaps you may have given them a bit of a hard time. Hmm? You have gone within, you have taken this time out to yourself, you have analyzed and visualized this person in your life. Basically, you may have put them through the test. You have put them through the ringer in order to prove their love for you. Yes, just as they're about to give up, <laughs> perhaps, yeah, just about, just as they're about to give up and walk away from this relationship because they feel as though it's futile in pursing you because you're not, you're not um, kind of fully investing in this relationship. Just at the last minute, there you are, showing your passion. Yeah, opening your heart, opening your whole life to this person. You're welcoming them in. And in order to welcome them in, you have to make peace with your past. Isn't that amazing? Yes, here they were thinking about leaving it all behind, yes, and walking away for good. But there was something niggling at them, you know. It's like a... Uh, something in the universe it was the intuition yes saying don't give up yet Capricorn is almost there almost ready for you yeah to welcome you wholeheartedly into your life but just it's, it's the last um, what you call the pull back at the last moment from their decision to walk away from you and that is when they realize yes that was the right decision in order to be with you you needed to sign perhaps you may have taken some time maybe um, two to three years or two to three months yeah to open yourself up to this person you may have really put this person through the test. <laughs> well, Capricorn, when you're ready, you are ready, yes? Perhaps in the past, from the looks of it, yes, I can see it clearly. There may have been uh, relationships um, uh, where you were cheated on, yes? You may have been used in some way or the other, yeah, for your talent for your money, for your uh, status or whatever it is, yeah, for your skills, whatever you want to call it or whatever you are good in, yeah, people may have used you for your potential and left you high and dry when they had got what they wanted from you in that, in your previous relationships. So that is why you had come across so closed up. To this person yes but this person I think you are realizing have proved their love for you immensely yeah looks like they have passed the test 
through all the trials and tribulations. Not only that, I think both of you have been through a lot of tests, you know, that the universe has put in your way in order for you all to come together. You all have both ascended in a way, yeah, by going through all these hurdles. Now, let's go ahead and see what's going on. It is now time to take your relationship and transform it. It is now time to take this relationship to a higher level. Hmm? Perhaps this person has proposed to you and you have agreed to this proposal. You're not, you're not um, uh, being stagnant anymore in your ways with this person you're expressing you're starting to express yourself express your emotions opening that big Capricorn heart that was locked in the vault all this time this person is getting to see a new side of you and they can't believe it that they finally made it through the walls and straight into your heart taken a while darling yeah it's, your, it's like as if you have ticked all the boxes together it's a beautiful relationship from the looks of it and as well as it's been divinely guided yes it required you both to exercise and learn to exercise a lot of patience at the right time yeah and over a period you'll have learned this uh, together you'll have learned how to balance your emotions yeah in different situations together you are very confident now within yourself yeah you're very confident in most areas of your life and you're ready to go for what you want mm -hmm. yes and right now what I can see over here is that you really want this person mm -hmm. this person as well has come to um, a lot of realizations yeah despite all the sacrifices they have made they see now clearly it is worth all of it yes for you whatever they have been through or whatever you may have put them through or whatever hurdles you'll have had to go through together yeah it was well worth all the sacrifice and they have been eliminated they are looking at things for what they are yeah there's no secrets in between you two and there's no secret that you two both of you belong together yes your person is thinking of, uh, uh, of the future plans yeah they're making future plans in order for you all to have a stable future ahead so they're making the choking other plans maybe you'll need to buy a house a car go out looking for a new place to move in together with yeah so you're like making plans your person actually is making plans yeah long-term stable plans to be with you and they see you and only you as the one for them yeah this relationship has gone through a lot of transformation of sorts yes it's been a while and finally you are able to come together now you as well my darling Capricorn see a long-term stable relationship and you see this person as your final relationship as your soulmate and you have accepted the fact that this is the one for you and now you are fully investing in this relationship finally hmm? So, that was too many cards. So, the time has come for a change. You have made a decision and you're not interested in any other person for yourself. Yes? Your person as well has noticed that you have changed tremendously. Your feelings towards them is more open you're more airy you're more trusting of this person and this in turn is attracting them attracting them towards you madly you know it's a mad attraction between the both of you you both love each other so much but it's 
it feels as though it's brand new, even though you'll have been together on and off by the looks of it, yes? Because it's as though you were trying to find the equilibrium between you two, yes? You're finally there and your person feels the wind of change is here. So, they're very happy from the looks of it. They feel very fortunate, yeah? to be in your life and they're very happy and proud that you are a part of your life. As for you, I can see that you have been reflecting on your past and you've decided to walk away from any kind of hurts, uh, pain, anything that was holding you back all this while and you're deciding to walk away from anything or any fears that was holding you back from moving ahead. So basically, from what I can see, for wherever this Capricorn is, yes, you have been going through the motions and you have been the motion of the healing process, yes, and looks like you have already crossed the bridge towards the other side and towards happiness in terms you have healed from the wounds of your past, okay? I can see that you are also uh, working on your stability, on your future, on your career. Yeah, you have achieved the balance. Nothing is distracting, nothing is distracting you uh, from achieving what you want, yes, in life. You feel, you see, once your personal life is balanced, you found uh, the confidence to move ahead and balance every other area of your life accordingly. You are now able to um, invest your time and efforts into other areas of your life as well because you feel fulfilled in your personal life at the moment. So if there was any imbalances in your past in other areas of your life, whether it's money, whether it's personal or whether it's help yes it is now all coming into balance 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 absolutely amazing okay so you are listening to your intuition it's like you're in tune with the universe yes and you're listening to your intuition you're on point with every move you make it's as though you're moving going with the flow of the universe you know going with the flow of your energies of how you feel you're not being too logical at the moment. Even the logic is there, yeah, and the analyzation is there, you're still going with the flow. Very smooth, yes? <coughs> Excuse me. So, your person is scared that you might, uh, for some reason, your person is scared that they might lose you, okay? They feel as though they have found a gem and now they are afraid. They have this fear dropping now and again, yeah? But they think that they will lose you for some reason, yes? But from what I can see, what's on your mind, your mind is that perhaps you're planning your marriage ahead, perhaps you're planning a wedding, perhaps you're just thinking of how lovely it is to be with this person because you feel that tranquility in between you both, yes? It's you've reached a point of bliss in your relationship. And perhaps you're concentrating on your future ahead because, um, how can I put it? It's so beautiful. It's really very beautiful, yes? Yes, you are both, you are actually concentrating on building a future with this person and you're super excited. Yes, it could be also a twin flame relationship, but let's confirm that a bit later. Now, you couldn't escape. Sorry about that, Bubbles is a bit distracted today. You couldn't hide, you couldn't escape, let's put it this way. You couldn't escape from this love. Yes, how much ever you wanted to run away yeah, from this love because it may have scared you at one point in time yeah, because you were unsure 
due to all past deceptions and past betrayals in your life. You were unsure about this person in your life, yes. You thought they were going to do the same as the others did to you, but I think you, they proved to you otherwise. They proved to be a strong person. They proved to be a pillar in your life, even though there were ups and downs and you'll have to find that equilibrium. You could not run away from this love. So if there were moments where you separated or you decided to like forget this person, it was not possible and you were always attracted back towards this person. Yes? So it has finally come to light and that deep realization yeah, inside of you which is telling you that yes, this is love. You are able to finally, finally trust your innermost emotions, your innermost feelings, your intuition, you're going with the flow and you realize, yes, this is love. Yes? Perhaps your person may have not been so kind to you because they were frustrated as well when you were frustrated, right? So there's a lot of forgiving and learning happening on both sides, yes? So if there was uh, uh, frustrations in the past, you are now at a very uh, peaceful state in your relationship, a blissful state in your relationship, wherein you'll be able to talk it out and as well forgive each other. So you'll have no regrets, you'll have no fretting happening between you two. You'll just, you know, kind of <coughs> both Excuse me. You love both at a very good state of mind. So you have forgive your past. Your person has forgive their past, forgiven their past. Yes, you love both in a very good state of mind. So why am I doing this reading? <laughs> oh, the winds of change, darling. The winds of change. Your person is walking away from whatever was whatever was holding them back in the past. Yes. They had their own demons as well. Let me tell you this. Just like you, yeah, they had their own demons that they have unshackled themselves from. This relationship, whatever you'll have both been through, yes, has helped them as much as it's helped you. Your, you and your person are both healing forces for each other you both are whether you realize it or not you both have been the healing element yeah for each other you all were like choking you're like a yin and the yang you know like like a ball you'll heal each other you if you will fought in the past yes it was always for a reason to open to open old wounds and to face it and in order for you all to be able to heal it, to make peace with it. Hmm? You are still, I think whenever you look at your past sometimes you do still hold a grudge, but it's just for a moment against some people in your past or someone in your past, yes, not this person. There may have been an event in your life that you're not able to forgive, but from what I can see, it is time and you know it. It is time to forgive and let it go because it's not serving you any good. You realize it, yes? You realize it and you have learned that it is time to guard and to love and respect what you have. The universe has blessed you with the right person and has brought this person in your life. Yeah, this relationship looks like it's going to last a lifetime. Mm -hmm. It's a deep relationship and it's going to both take you both very far. This is love of a lifetime. Let's put it that way. <laughs> Your person has made a decision. You are the one they want. There's no one but you. 
Why do I feel like I'm repeating myself? There's no one but you. Yes? You feel as though sometimes you really doubt yourself, yeah? In the future, going ahead in the future, I can see, yeah, you're having to exercise a lot of courage because um, you feel as though you have a lot of options. I'll tell you what. This is not about having options in love. This is having options and opportunities being presented your way. Excuse me. Bubbles, what are you grumbling about? Do you mind? Yes. So I feel as though since a big chunk of your life has been sorted and you've gone through the healing process, wherever this is, you've gone through the healing process very nicely, even though it's taken a long time, you have reached a point where you're in a blissful state, yeah? So now you're being presented, because you have unblocked so many areas of your life, you are being presented with a lot of opportunities. Now you have to exercise common sense and experience, yeah, when investing in these opportunities that will be coming your way. <coughs> Excuse me. From what I can see, you are going to be pursuing your dreams, yeah, but you have so many creative ideas just bursting out, yeah. Your creative mind has opened up. Where is it? Yes. Your crown chakra is bursting with lots of ideas, lots of um, things that you want to do, but be careful, don't overwork yourself, yeah, take your time, write down your ideas and work on it simultaneously if you can, or, oh, yeah one thing at a time yeah don't overwork yourself otherwise you could face a burnout in the future all right mm, absolutely lovely yes you're going for it you're going for whatever you want you're making a brand new start yes you're facing your fears and you know what you want yeah you you have clarity in what you want you are going to organize yourself and you know exactly what you want and you're going for it. That's it. That's the thing more I can say. Yes? You're going for your dreams, darling. You're going to pursue it. You're going to chase it. And you're going to make it happen. Put it simply. Yes? Your person over here, they have had a lot of patience for you, but they are very happy. Patience with you, but they're very happy. And they are... Um, they feel as though they've been justified, yes, and everything is coming into place in order. And this decision to be with you is the ultimate achievement achievement in love for them. My God, these are strong words that's coming out of my mouth. Yes, absolutely amazing. This has been divinely guided. This person is very stable, yes. They could be a bit stubborn, yeah, but in whatever way they can, yeah, they're going to promise you the stability that you need. So you and this person could be end up to be as a power couple. Yes, you're both attractive, you're both go-getters, you're both hardworking people from what I can see. <coughs> yes. And you all are the kind of people that can make things happen. So if you'll put your creative minds together Yes, I can see that you'll, whatever you put your mind to, together you can make it happen and achieve. Uh, looks like a power couple to me, darling. Perseverance is key in your reading, yes? In order to pursue your dream, you need to exercise, persevere for it. Yes, there's no doubt about it. You are taking the leap of faith into your future because now you have reached the decision that <coughs> you have reached the decision that this is the one for you finally mm. <laughs> your person is really really so either crazy your person is totally crazy over you my god, they can't believe it. This person of yours feels as though if they couldn't get you, that would be the end of them. Yeah. 
that would have been the end of them. It wouldn't, wouldn't have been a broken heart that they could have got over this person, yeah, really, really loves you from the bottom of their heart. So it's like, even though you put them to heartache and pain, at the end of the day, they look at themselves as the winner because they won you over. They've got your heart and you are the one that they've they've always wanted, yes? It is clear to them as well. And they're so happy for this brand new star that's happening. Capricorn, what's going on? This reading is really, really good this month. The Romance Angels ask, asking you to make the effort, yes? Great love is worth taking the steps you've had it to take. So if you, if you have any doubts in the future, or from time to time you feel as though, mm, you know, something triggers you, take a step back and think about the good things this person has done for you. Think about uh, what you have done as well and achieved in life so far together with this person, yes? Sometimes you can get upset, yes, but it's for small, it's for a small moment, yeah? Life is much bigger than that. If you see yourself and he, this person sees themselves, together both of you all see yourselves as the one for each other, then a small upset is always forgivable and forgotten, yes? Both of you are a very high vibing, vibing energy at the moment and I can see you all going places. It's like you both are ready to go on this adventure, on this brand new adventure. You are both taking small steps moving ahead. Yeah, um, You're not rushing into things, you're just taking small steps ahead together, steadily, as well as expressing, expressing your passions for each other. Yes, it's like a brand new adventure that's starting and you are both taking to leap forward hmm, and ahead into this future. Excuse me. That was a lovely reading, Capricorn. So, let's pick a, a soul's journey card for you. Give me a moment. I'll do a shuffle on camera. Trust. You receive card of trust <coughs> says here <coughs> excuse me I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly yes the universe is speaking with you darling and you're accepting all the downloads and the information that you're receiving you're trusting in the universe absolutely lovely let's see what Archangel Michael has to say to you have confidence says Archangel Michael have confidence it says so please say this prayer with me to Archangel Michael this card wanted to come out as well wow and he says God is in charge so please say this prayer with me to Archangel Michael Archangel Michael, lend me your courage and fortitude. Help me realize that I am one with all that is divine. Wisdom, strength, love, creativity, abundance and health. Allow me to feel confident and peaceful about myself in all ways. Wow, I feel goosebumps on my hands. Dear God, please help me let go of the situation giving it in faith and trust to your divine wisdom and infinite love in order to resolve and heal everything and everyone involved. Absolutely beautiful, darling. Absolutely beautiful. I doubt I've ever received a reading like this for Capricorn. Not really sure. But this is like, it's like um, you've been, both of you have been journey yes and you are finally at this place where you all can actually 
feel that love without any prejudice, without any interference of your past, without any fears, yeah? All it requires is you to have trust in the universe, in souls, in God. Yes, have confidence because God is in charge, darling. God is in charge. Leave, leave it all up to God, yes? So let's see what signs you could be dealing with. There are many signs that I can see here. But let's see what the cards have to say today. What signs you could be dealing with. That's a few. You could be dealing with a Libra. Or they could have Libra in their chart. You could be dealing with a Pisces. Or they could have Pisces in their chart. You could be dealing with a Gemini. Virgo. Oh, you could be dealing with a Leo or Scorpio. You could be dealing with any of these signs. Or they could be having these signs in their chart. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus. Yeah. Uh, you could be dealing with Sagittarius as well. Yeah, there's many signs over here. Fire signs. Leo. So, there you go. So my darling, darling Capricorns, yes, it has been an absolute delight doing this reading for you. I'm not yet sure what I'll name this reading, but it's time for you to go on a brand new adventure. Trust in the universe, trust in the source, trust in God, because... God is in charge. So my darling Capricorn, I thank you for tuning in for your reading for the month of June 2020. Until we meet again, I love you, take care and God bless.